quite as many work, oh. but I didn't realize that. <laughs> it could be so, any of your work. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on a novel, and it's funny because I have a character who has epilepsy, so I thought I'll try and take an excerpt from that part of the novel, but I couldn't really find anything that <laughs> addressed it, you know, because she's just a character mm -hmm. overall, mainly who has epilepsy. But I do have another character in it um, who has mental illness, and so that's kind of more of a focus for that character. So that's what I'm reading from. Um, and just background, she's a mom <coughs> with two kids and a husband. <coughs> So much of her kid, I'm sorry, so much of her and the kids' lives happened when Richard was asleep. Richard had barely noticed she had moved Owen into Haley's room, and he'd never commented on it. He thought he was observant and an expert at reading people, so it made her happy to know that she could keep <laughs> things from him. Jessie reached behind her and reached for the blanket. She accidentally hit Richard on his stomach, but he didn't wake up. She pulled the blanket back around her, but she couldn't get comfortable. I need to leave, she whispered. She slipped out of bed and walked out to the hall. Owen was crying, but it was getting softer, and there were gaps of silence. She peeked in the bedroom. Haley had crawled into Owen's toddler bed. She was curled up around him and whispering softly. She sat on the couch and flipped through some channels on TV and then turned it off. She closed her eyes. She wanted to rest before she took a shower, just for a minute. She lay back on the couch and she, when she woke up, she felt a tickle on her forehead. She reached up to brush it away. Mommy, she heard Haley giggle. Wake up. Haley was blowing air on her forehead. Jessie opened her eyes and put her hand on her daughter's hair. Are you sick again, Mommy? No, baby, I just couldn't sleep last night. You always say that, Mommy. The older you get, the harder it is to fall asleep. Haley looked around and leaned in like she was gonna tell Jessie a secret. I don't sleep either. Oh really, Jessie asked. Yeah, Haley said, I'm so tired. She collapsed onto the couch next to Jessie, dramatically. <laughs> Just give me a minute before we start the day. Jessie frowned. She knew Haley slept well each night. The only thing that woke her up was her brother. She had a sensitive ear when it came to Owen. I feel good today, honey, Jessie said. She pushed herself up off the couch and tried to push through the grogginess. We're going to have a good day. You'll see. She looked at the DVR and it was almost 9 a.m. Mommy's going to take a shower, Jessie said. Go get dressed. You can't stay in your pajamas all day. Making sure she bathed was the only non-negotiable goal Jessie set for herself each day. When she stopped showering after she had Owen three years ago, her mom had thrown the D word around, and Jessie didn't want to hear that again. Richard had never liked doctors, and he thought mental illness was an excuse people used to get out of trouble with the law. But even he had started suggesting she go to see a counselor. Jessie went in her room to lie down. She locked the door behind her. She crawled into bed and lifted the comforter over her head. It was dark inside and so quiet, but the air was heavy. It felt suffocating. She tossed the comforter off her head and tucked it under her arms. She stared up at the ceiling. Mom, Haley yelled. She could hear the door turning. Mom, I want to play outside. I'll be right out, baby. Just be patient, Jessie called back. She closed her eyes and felt like the sleep could come to her. It was within her grasp. She tried to float into it. Mom, Haley yelled. She
She started banging on the door. Jessie got up and opened the door. She grabbed Haley by the arm. Didn't you hear what I said? Jessie asked. Mommy needs to rest. Haley tried to pull her arm away, and Jessie squeezed harder. Did you hear me? Yes or no? Yes, Haley said. You're hurting me, Mommy. Jessie let go, and Haley stumbled backwards, and then she crumpled to the ground. She started crying. Jessie went back inside her bedroom and locked the door again. She lay back down on the bed. She, w she just wished Haley would give her 20 minutes of peace. Jessie watched the shadow on the ceiling. When she squinted her eyes, it looked like it was moving toward her. You can tell I also used to work in child abuse. <laughs> Thank you. My turn? Yes. 